Are you tired, no pun intended, of researching tires? Because I'm here to help you make an informed tire buying decision. I'll give you the key features, the specs, and the overview of what you need to know about this tire in order to make an informed decision. So let's get right into it. Today we are looking at 265-60R20 Radar Renegade AT Pro tires. This is a Radar brand tire. It is from the AT Pro series that they offer. This tire has a performance designation of all-season, all-terrain passenger light truck and SUV tire. This tire has a 10-ply construction. I will go over what that means in just a moment. Some of the manufacturer listed features of this tire include Rattlesnake Edition dual sidewall design featuring a fang side with a snake head designed for added traction and a rattle side for added protection. Wide center block design ensures no pattern movement on road and a smooth, quiet ride and even wear. Optimized interlocking tread block design ensures the pattern works in harmony with the terrain for exceptional all-terrain traction and stability. Special silica-based compound for outstanding cut and chip resistance and grip in all conditions. Mud and snow rated means it meets the required performance criteria for use in severe snow conditions. Stone ejector technology within the tire's tread prevents stone drilling and lodging to reduce the risk of damage. So to start, we will look at the tire size. This is one of the most important parts, if not the most important part of your tire shopping journey, because if you order the wrong size, they more than likely won't work on your vehicle. This tire size should be showing on the screen right now. So let's work from left to right and break down what these three numbers mean. Looking at tires can be very confusing, especially when it comes to breaking down all these numbers on the sidewall. Let me help you with that right now. The first number is for the section width of the tire. The section width of 265 in this sequence refers to the tire's width in millimeters. In other words, this tire is 265 millimeters wide from sidewall to sidewall. The second number in the tire size refers to the aspect ratio. 60 in the sequence is the aspect ratio of the tire. The aspect ratio is a percentage and it tells you the ratio of the tire's height to its width. In this example, the aspect ratio number 60 means that the tire's height is 60% of its width. The third and final number of your tire size refers to the rim size or diameter. 20 is the diameter of the rim this tire will go on. The rim size of 20 in this scenario indicates that this particular tire would fit a rim with a 20 inch diameter. Keep in mind this number is not negotiable. Unlike the first two numbers, you can't upsize and downsize this part. The only time this number will be different is if you are actually changing the size of your rim. So for example, if you find a fantastic deal on a set of 265-70 or 17 tires, you absolutely cannot use them in place of your current 265-70 or 16 tires, unless you are actually changing the rim size also from 16 to 17. Now, let's get into the other important info on a tire. Besides the three components that make up the tire size, the three other most important components are going to be the load index, speed rating, and ply rating or load range. When you're buying a set of tires, there's so many numbers on the sidewall to consider. Don't get analysis paralysis looking at your next set of tires. Let me tell you what each one of them means. So this is where it gets a little more tricky. These three components will sometimes require some additional research to know what your vehicle needs. So let's start with the ply rating slash load range. These tires have a 10-ply construction. Each designation represents a different term when looking at a tire. This can directly affect things like max tire pressure and also plays a part in the next two numbers we are going to talk about. When in doubt of the rating your vehicle requires, in most cases it is safe to go with the same rating your vehicle currently has, as long as it was replaced with the correct spec of tire last time they were replaced. Now let's talk about the other two components, load index and speed rating. Next to your tire size, you will see a number and letter combination like 121S. The number 121 is the load index. This is the number relative to the weight capacity of the tire. The higher the number, the greater the load carrying capability of the tire. Load index ranges from 0 to 150. If you are replacing your tires, they have to be the same or higher load index, never lower. For example, if your current load index is 121, a tire of the same size with a load index of 124 would work for you, but not a tire of the same size with a load index of 118. If you replace your tires and the new ones have a lower load index, the tire has a higher likelihood of bubbling and eventually blowing out. So make sure you pay attention to this when buying your set. So for the tire we are looking at today, the load index of 121 represents a weight capacity of 3,197 pounds. For my metric system, using friends that would be a capacity of 1450 kilograms. Located next to the load index we just talked about, there is a letter. 
The letter S is the speed rating for this tire. This is the maximum speed sustainable for the tire. Each letter has a corresponding speed rating approved by the Department of Transportation and the tire manufacturer. Alphabetically, the speed rating increases as the letters advance from A to Z, except for the letter H, which we'll explain in a minute. The most common speed ratings range from L, 75 miles per hour, to W, 168 miles per hour. High-performance racing tires speed rated 168 miles per hour or higher are marked ZR. Originally, tire speeds were just S, H, or V, S being the slowest, H being the middle, and V being the fastest. Over the years, as tire speeds have evolved, for whatever reason, H has always remained the same, 130 miles per hour. When Z-speed rated tires were first introduced, they were thought to reflect the highest tire speed rating that would ever be required in excess of 240 kilometers per hour or 149 miles per hour. While Z-speed rated tires are capable of speeds in excess of 149 miles per hour, how far above 149 miles per hour was not identified. That ultimately caused the automotive industry to add W and Y speed ratings to identify the tires that meet the needs of vehicles that have extremely high top speed capabilities. So the speed rating of S in the case of this tire means that this tire is rated for speeds of 112 miles per hour or 180 kilometers per hour. While speed rating is important in some unique cases, you shouldn't spend a ton of time focusing and comparing tires based solely off of this. While you do want to make sure the tire matches your vehicle manufacturer's specified speed rating, in almost all cases, the speed rating of a tire should always be above 85 miles per hour, which is technically the fastest posted speed limit anywhere in the United States. In conclusion, when looking at this set, make sure your current numbers and letters all match to ensure a seamless buying experience. Hopefully this info helped you make an informed tire decision. Peace.